Welcome to the Fantasy Fitting Planner. Lauren Tahati alongside Scott White. Scott, it's Friday. It's exciting yeah. for two reasons. The weekend's coming. Second reason, you got to set your lineup, and you're going to help us with that, right? Yes, I am. That's right. what I'm here for. All right. Well, let's start talking about the Cleveland Indians. Travis Hafner, Victor Martinez off the DL playing AAA ball. Are they reliable? Well, I think they're reliable enough in the sense that you want to pick them up right now. The guy who has me more excited is Travis Hafner because the problem with him was his right shoulder had no strength. That's why he struggled so much the last two years. All the reports say he has that strength back now, so he has big poppy potential. And then, of course, Martinez plays a really weak position. The good thing about both these guys, though, are the Indians are out of the playoff race, so that means they're not rushing them back just so they can fight for a playoff berth. If they're back now, you can assume it's because they're actually healthy. All right, let's get to it. Behind the plate, Navarro, he's having a miserable August, Scott. He's had three hits in the last week. Suzuki, though, showing a lot of strength. Yeah, yeah, he's showing more power now, getting on base more since the All-Star break. Looks like a must-start. How about the hitting streak of Ryan Garko? He continues to have the bats, always an important thing. He's not sharing out bats anymore. Alex Gordon, though, injury-prone. Yeah, he's dealing with a couple injuries right now. He has a back injury and a neck injury, so those might cause him to have spotty at bats in the next week. Probably not someone you want to start, especially since he hasn't been hitting that well. All right, well, someone that has been hitting well, Alexi Ramirez, showing a lot of power there. He's still one of the more underappreciated players in fantasy. Looking go good, though. Howie Kendrick, not so good. Yeah, he was hot coming right out of the break, but he's cooled off in August and he hasn't developed power as fast as the Angels had hoped. Right now, he's looking like a poor man's Ryan Terrio. Never a good thing. You know, I no. was an Orioles fan when I was younger, and it's exciting to talk about Melvin Moore. He's now one of the hottest players in baseball. More three-hit games than zero-hit games in August. Hank Blaylock, though, we're sitting him. Yeah, we're going to sit him. He's coming back from a, a shoulder inflammation he was dealing with. But... It's still bothering him enough that the, Angels, the Rangers are going to have to move him from third base over to first base. That doesn't sound like a good sign for his hitting. All right, not a good sign at shortstop. Bobby Crosby, his power streak has kind of ended. He's back to going hitless every, every day, never a good thing. Nick Punto, though, the Twins, they're on the road for 14 games. He's looking good. Yeah, Nick Punto has an ongoing hitting streak. He's normally not an advisable option, but when he's that hot at that position, you've got to get him active. Probably going to score a lot of runs batting second for the Twins also. All right, J.D. Drew is not going to score a lot of runs. He's missing a lot of time, though. Adam Lynn hitting for power. Yeah, he's hitting for power. He's hitting for average. He's doing it all consistently. Right now, he's looking like the best rookie outfielder in the American League, and that includes Jacoby Ellsbury. Wow, that's a statement right there. Yes, it is. All right, we appreciate awfully good. it. He is awfully good. We're talking <laughs> National League after the break, so come back and see us. Welcome back to the show. We're talking National League now. You can't talk about the National League without talking about Ryan Braun. I, I remember him from his days back in Miami. He's struggling. A, a little bit of frustration there with his injuries. Can you really bench him, though, Scott? I don't think you can. It's, it's a back injury. It's recurring. It's sitting him out here and there a few games at a time and annoying. But he's such a good hitter that even if he starts only four games, He's going to do better than someone who starts seven, so you have to keep him active. All right, keeping active. Also, Benji Molina, he's just showing signs of life again. He's still one of the better RBI men at his position. Brian Schneider, though, we're, we're sitting him. Yeah, he has two home runs in the last week, but he really doesn't have the kind of pedigree to suggest this hot streak is going to last. Continue to ignore him in, in uh, mixed leagues. All right, and we're ignoring Casey Kutchman as well. He's batting well under 200, never a good thing. Travis Ishikawa, though. He's homered. He's, he's looking good. Yeah, he homered once every 10 bats in AAA before the Giants called him up. Now the Giants are playing him every day, and with that kind of potent power potential, he is a must-add in NL-only leagues. Ronnie Belliard has a lot of power as well, even though the Nats aren't doing so well. He's filling in for Christian Guzman. Kelly Johnson, been a bit disappointing. Yeah, he has been a bit disappointing. He's now in a platoon situation with the Braves sitting against left-handed pitchers, and he's hitting under 250 since May. That's a long time to be batting under 250. That's a long time to be batting under 250 for sure. Chad Tracy struggling as well over the last week. He's recently added the threat of losing at-bats to Adam Dunn. Ian Stewart, consistency is the name of the game there, Scott. Yeah, Ian Stewart, he's kind of like Adam Lind. He's a rookie. He's 
hot, he's consistent. His OPS suggests he deserves to start now, even in mixed leagues. Wow, okay, J.J. Hardy is streaky, but it never lasts, and that's the key, is if your streakiness doesn't last, he's homered twice in the last week. Clint Barmas, though, not looking good. No, just because Barmas has his everyday second base job back with the Rockies doesn't mean you should be starting him in fantasy again. He has only two hits in the last week and has been struggling like that for a long time. Right, you remember Randy wins May. He's having a similar August. Power numbers are great. But we're sitting Ryan Church. He's finally come back from this weekend. Yeah, he's finally coming back from that post-concussion syndrome. Uh, but the Mets aren't going to put him in the lineup right away, so you're going to want to wait until he starts getting every day at bats and until he proves he can not go on the DL right again because uh, that's what happened last time. Went right back on the DL. All right, well, he has all your answers. I hope they help. We'll see you next week.